processes. So here you can see these are final buffed. A little bit of dust on them, but you can see that they're all nice and shiny now. And these are final buffed. And when I final buff, I use my buffing wheel. You can see my arbor set up. I have a spring on here to maintain tension so it doesn't get too crazy. These are my buffing cakes that I use. And if you take notice, they're fours and fives. Um, I also have two different size arbors, one big one and one smaller one. So I kind of like have high, pre high speed and low speed. Now, what I will do, as we explained earlier, I go through a build coat level, put a finish coat on. Then when I'm done with my finish coat, so I have my finish coat done. Now I'm level sanding this, and my level sanding process is 1,000 grit, 1,200, 15, 2,000. Then I go to the Asilix papers. The Asilix setup, while it might be costly, but this stuff really does a nice job. So I like the Asilix. You notice I have foam pads here. I can push my guitar up against there, and then I can put this here, and I can take my belly, and I can use my belly to hold that while I'm doing the sanding. So what I'm looking for, you can see there's, uh, if you look real close, you can see a little bit of shine as I'm reflecting this, see the little bit of shine. When I get all of that out, when all of this shine is gone, like here, up here, here. Once I get them all flat sanded, then I'm going to move to the buffer. So right now, this guy's ready for a little bit more of the final sanding. I'm now done with this. I use this dry, mostly dry sanding on a slow speed. And as I'm sanding, I kind of use a leading edge effect. So I kind of come back and forth. I try not to be too flat on the final sandings because I want the dust to get out so I don't get pilling. So this is getting ready to get final sanded and I'll take a couple pictures and you'll see that through the process. Okay, I got most of the buffing done off of the wheels. All right, so I, I was using my GW, this is GW19 right here. This is P126, that's P1, I'm sorry, this is P175, that's P126. This is also GW16, uh, Moderna, Jesscar, Amazon. Okay, so when you start buffing, if you take notice at the lights, you see how they're looking in focus, all right? So as your finish gets prettier and, and flatter, things start to appear to get focused. Now on the back, you can see it's dusty, all right? You can see it gets a little cleaner. Now here, you can see on the right, that doesn't look quite as focused as up here in this corner. So that is something that helps you understand when you're getting ready for the next stage. So I'm done with the cakes. I may go back there eventually, but now I'm going to be starting using my dual action buffer, which is right here. And I'll be using, start with a heavy cut. I use 3M Perfect It, and I also use this, I don't know how you pronounce it, Groats. So compound, Work through the heavy compound, then go to the buffing compounds. You'll see something in a little bit. Thank you. I'm pretty much done buffing. I just want to show you if you can pick it up. You can see how nice that that is reflecting now. You see how pretty that is. Now, if you look down here, I don't know if you can actually see it, but there's a little bit less of a shine here. This has been buffed. 
This has been what we call hand glaze with the 3M, okay? And I do that at a high speed with my dual action buffer, all right? But let's see, if I, if I step down here, if you look real close, it might look a little bit cloudy, but that is what you want to get done with. That's, that's the shine. All right, so I hope you like that. And you can just see, to get yet one more shot, you can see my shirt. So from my shop to yours, have a good one. Mm -hmm.